Welcome everybody to the channel. Just um, saying thanks again to everyone who subscribed this this last few weeks, and uh, uh, thanks everybody. Um, yeah, carry on camping chaos. Yeah, a bit like the BBC carry on. Uh, they carry on regardless with your money, um, how they waste it and stuff like this. You know, this is what it's all about. Um, carry on, carry on chaos. Um, Obviously, with this government, we don't know where we are. Things change daily, every day, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a joke. That's why uh, a bit of a carry-on. Um, regarding my channel, um, getting quite a few views on my videos. I want to thank, thank everybody for that. Um, the main thing is you, you have to give us a like and uh, hit the bell button. You want some more to watch more videos, and it helps the channel get my message across. Uh, that's the way YouTube works. Um, you know, it, it, it works on how many views you get, how many likes, any comments you got, you're welcome. I mean, you, you don't have to agree, agree with everything I say, don't get me wrong. You, this, is a, this is your channel to make comments and uh, have an opinion on the BBC. I want the BBC to reform, to stop the tactics on how to collect their fees with Capita. And, uh, you know, once you've cancelled your licence, you know, you get letters and uh, stuff like this and you no longer require an account. If you're not watching, there's plenty of people who don't watch the BBC and are still paying the licence fee. And uh, that's the point that I'm trying to point out to you about. That's, uh, you don't just need a, a, a licence for a television. That is just not in this day and age anymore. But like I was saying, it's a carry-on, a carry-on like my channel. I'm just going to keep repeating itself. If you're not paying, sorry, if you're not watching, you're not paying. Sorry about that, I keep getting that wrong all the while. Yeah, if you're not watching, you're not paying. So you don't need to pay the BBC if you're not watching their, their programmes. There's other things you can quite capable be watching, keeping you informed, obviously, if you've got the internet, obviously... Anybody over 75 now has to pay the TV licence, including my mother and father who are in, the, in the, the late, well, coming up to 90 years old. So they don't hardly watch television, but they've been paying a licence for the last 10 years and they've hardly watched the BBC because they think it's breaking the law. And of course, people at that age just don't want to break any laws. They're just law abiding as citizens and you know, um, and they pay the licensee, but they're not watching the, li the television. You're just not watching programs at that age. You know, they they want to watch one or two things, but there's there's plenty of other things they could watch and save themselves £160 a year. And that's the message I'm trying to get across, folks. So I hope you help me do that by hitting the like button. If you want to subscribe and help me, pass it on to other people. That in this day and age, you don't have to have a, a license to own a television. Obviously, if you're watching terrestrial television, I'm not. That's why I have no fears from the BBC. Because once you're cancelled, you'll get letters and, you know, stuff like this. And they'll try and want you to... Um, they might give you two years like they did with me. But then again, they're going to come knocking on your door to try and get a licence back if you're not paying. Because they're just salespeople by capita. They're third-party people are, 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 told people before about it so this is the message i'm trying to get across to people as other people doing it like chili john give you more in-depth things but this is me doing it to try and make it aware that especially the older generation you know people like myself and people don't understand technology i mean they, if you go to the bbc um, television you'll, you'll keep saying bbc iplayer there's a lot of people who don't require the iPlayer because they've not got the internet. Now, if they had the internet, there's far more things they could watch than the BBC. You don't have to pay a license to watch the internet, as far as I'm aware. If anybody knows that, you can, you can tell me. But, as I said, if you're not watching, you're not paying. That's the message. So it's just a quick message on a carry-on with the, with the uh, BBC. My message, reform the BBC. I mean, it's a subscription service. That's what's needed. So people can have a choice what they want to watch with a the television. They can watch YouTube all day if they want and watch Netflix. They can watch Amazon. And other co companies are coming along now. Disney, of course, and everybody else. So 
the choice is there for you. You do not have to have a Monopoly BBC anymore. And them days are going to go. And it's the public yourselves, yourselves, who can change all this by just saying, sorry, no. And um, then they'll have to go to a different system, a business plan. The BBC will have to have another business plan. When this charter runs out anyway, they'll have to re-establish themselves. The ITV are doing advertisements. ITV are doing, you know, programmes, you know, um, like they've got, obviously got Coronation Street, and they get revenue from that. It's a, it's a big programme. If they make good programmes, people will watch. So that's what it's all about, folks, just getting the message across, informing people who are not aware. So I thank you very much for all your comments and, and, and watching the channel. And, of course, this carry-on of the BBC has to stop. You know, like, like I say, it, that's the message I'm bringing up. I'm not criticising people who work at the BBC as good people and they make some good programmes. It's just the way it's funded and the way they waste your money doing things. And, of course, the biggest guy in, in, on, the, on YouTube who will tell you all about that is go to Alex, Alex Belfield on the YouTube and you'll, 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 you'll find out what the BBC are like. And he's got a great channel and uh, I'm watching the live show tonight. Um, he's got a live ch chat show tonight, phone in. So I'd watch that and uh, he'll explain to you what how the BBC, because he's an ex-employee, that he'll, he'll knows everything about what, what goes on, what goes on there and, uh, you know, how arrogant they are. And then on the gravy train, of it's, it's like a carry-on gravy train. That's what it is. They, they, they won't change things till they have to be forced by the public yourselves by just saying, no, thank you. So you just have to do what I say to you. If you can, you know, if you want to, it's up to you. You've got a choice. You're not paying. Sorry, if you're not watching, you're not paying. I have to get this bloody right, my catchphrase. If you're not watching, you're not paying. That's all you have to think about, you know, not not paying, not, not watching, not paying. So anyway, I'm sorry about all the mess ups, but um, you know it's off the cuff and uh, as it as it comes. So, as I said, uh, hit the like button if you can and uh, get the message across. Share it with anybody else. If you're not watching, you're not paying. Simple as that, folks. I'll get back onto you on the next one now. I'll get back on a few more because that's I'm going to keep going until somebody says, you know, stop. You know, or the BBC changed their ways. Anyway, thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.